Dear students, now we are going to solve an important problem in zero input limit cycle oscillation. Let's solve the problem. Find the characteristics of a limit cycle oscillation of the given first order digital system. The first order digital system is given as y of n is equal to 0.95 y of n minus 1 plus x of n where the input x of n is equal to 0.875 if n is equal to 0, its value becomes 0 otherwise. So here we are going to determine the dead band of the filter also. Okay. So in the solution part, let's start with the given data. So from the given equation, we come to know this. The A value that is the multiplier coefficient value is 0.95. So that is represented as A. Sometimes we can represent that as alpha. Both are same. A is equal to 0.95. And the input test having its value 0.875 only at n is equal to 0. So here we can mention that as x of 0 is equal to 0.875. For the remaining terms, it becomes 0. Correct? So x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, whatever it may be, those values are equal to 0. So next we are going to assume the number of bits to be rounded off. Okay. So here B is equal to 4 bits plus 1 signed bit. But we are concentrating only on this 4 bits. Okay. So B is equal to 4 bits. Okay. You have to exclude this 1 signed bit. So next the given difference equation can be written using the quantization method that is y of n is equal to x of n plus q that is quantization of 0.95 y of n minus 1. Because this multiplication process can introduce the limit cycle oscillation. Okay. So next we are going to find out the values for this output. First we can take n is equal to 0. For this value this equation becomes y of 0 is equal to x of 0 plus Quantization of 0 0.95 y of this n becomes 0 right. So 0 minus 1. So y of 0 minus 1 is nothing but y of minus 1. So the first output is y of 0. There is no previous output here. So y of minus 1 value is 0. So 0 0.95 multiplied with 0 its answer is 0. So nothing to be quantized over here. And x of 0 value is 0 0.875. Here the output y of 0 is equal to 0.875. Next n is equal to 1. For this the difference equation becomes y of 1 is equal to x of 1 plus quantization of 0.95 y of 1 minus 1. y of 1 minus 1 is nothing but y of 0. So y of 0 is the previous output value that is 0.875. Okay. So here x of 1 value is 0, correct? So we can put x of 1 as 0 plus quantization of 0.95 multiplied with that y of 0 value is 0.875. So here we can get quantization of 0.83125. Okay, so quantization can be done only in binary terms. So here it is decimal. So we have to convert this decimal to binary for that we can use this method. We can multiply 0.83125 by 2 since it is a fractional part. So here we can multiply this value as so 5 to are 10. So 1 is remaining. 2 to are 4 plus 1 5. 1 2 is 2. 2 3 are 6. 8 3 are 16. So 6 is here. 1 we can write it in this side. So 1.66250. So we have to take this one. Okay. This part alone here. So the next we are going to multiply the balance term that is fractional part with this 2. We can get the value as 1.32500. Again there is 1. Okay. So we can take this 1 here and multiply the remaining terms. So we can get 0 0.65000. This value is 0 here. So we can write it over here. And then 1.30000. So here we can take this 1. And then finally we can take 0 0.6000. So here it is 0. Okay. 
we can start at this fifth bit it is going on further okay so because here we have assumed b is equal to 4 bits correct so up to fifth bit we can find out the values okay so here we can write this decimal value 0.83125 as 0 0.11010 so we have to write it from top to bottom here so 0.110 one zero it is going on so but we have to stop at the fifth bit okay so next we are going to round off this for rounding of this value so what we are going to do we are going to make it as a four bits for that we have to add the fifth bit to this fourth bit okay so here it is zero so nothing will be changed so we can write the values as such so y of one is equal to zero point one one zero one this is the rounded value or quantized value for this y of 1. So it is in binary format but we want to get the value in terms of decimal. So we have to convert this binary to decimal since it is a fractional part we can take like this okay. So here that after this point the binary point the first value is multiplied with 1 by 2 the second value is multiplied with 1 by 4 the third value is multiplied with 1 by 8 fourth one is 1 by 16 correct so we can get the answer as 13 by 16 that is nothing but 0.8125 so y of one value is what 0.8125 actually we have got the answer as 0.83125 after rounding off we have obtained the value as 0.8125 this is y of one value so in the same way we can find out the values for n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4. It is going on like that. So here consider n is equal to 2. So y of 2 is equal to x of 2 plus quantization of 0 0.95 y of 2 minus 1. y of 2 minus 1 is nothing but y of 1 that is 0.8125. So we can substitute that value here x of 2 is 0. And then we can get that value as quantization of 0.771875. It is in decimal. Okay. So that has to be converted into binary. So in the same method here like this. Okay. So here we have to convert this into binary. So we have obtained the value as 0.110001. Next we are going to round off this value to 4 bits. So here the fifth bit is 0. So we can simply take this first to 4 bit as such. So this is the rounded off value of this binary value. So y of 2 is equal to 0 0.1100. So that has to be converted into decimal. So this value is what? 0.75. So here y of 2 value is 0.75. So next n is equal to 3. So for this y of 3 is equal to x of 3 plus 0.95 quantization of 0.95 y of 3 minus 1 here it is y of 2 that is the previous value 0.75 x of 3 value is 0 then multiply this two values here we can get quantization of 0.7125 then we have to take the binary equivalent for this decimal. So the same procedure over here. So we can take 0.7125 which is multiplied with 2. So here we can get 0, 5, 2, 14. So 1 is there. We can take this 1 here and again multiply this value by 2. So we can get 0, 0, 5, 8. Here it is 0. So we can take this 0. Correct. So then we have to multiply this value. So likewise we can convert this 0.7125 into binary. So here the value is 0 0.101101. It's going on. Okay. So we can stop at fifth point or sixth point itself. Okay. So next we are going to round off this value into 4 bit value. So here fifth bit is 0. So we can take the first 4 bits as such. So that decimal equivalent for this binary is 0 0.6875 the actual value is 0 0.7125 after quantization we have got 0 0.6875 so this is the value of y of 3 so next n is equal to 4 so here y of 4 is equal to x of 4 plus 
quantization of 0.95 y of 4 minus 1. So y of 4 minus 1 is nothing but y of 3 that is the value of 0.6875. Here x of 4 value is 0. So multiply these two values we can get 0.65325. So this is the binary equivalent for this decimal value. So here it is 0 0.101001. So now we are going to round off. So here the fifth bit is 0. So we can take this 4 bits as such and that equivalent, decimal equivalent for this value is 0 0.625. This is the value of y of 4. Next n is equal to 5. So y of 5 is equal to x of 5 plus quantization of 0 0.95 y of 5 minus 1. y of 5 minus 1 is nothing but y of 4 that value is 0 0.625. So here x of 5 value is 0. So next step we have to multiply these two values then we we have got the value as 0 0.59375. It is in decimal but we can uh, do that quantization only in binary. So we have to convert this decimal to binary here as such. So here 0 0.10011 that is the value. So here the fifth bit is 1. Correct? Fifth bit is 1 means we have to add this bit to this fourth bit to make it as a rounded value. So here its value is 0 0.1001 the fifth bit is 1 so we have to add this value to the fourth bit we can get 1 plus 1 is nothing but 10 so we can write 0 and then here it is 0 10 0. so this is the round of value for this quantization then we have to convert back this binary to equivalent decimal correct so here it is 0 0.625 Okay, so y of 5 value is 0 0.625. So from this we come to know that after n is equal to 5, okay, even after n is equal to 4, that value is only 0 0.625. So y of n can be written as 0 0.875, this is the y of 0 value, correct? So this is y of 1 value is 0 0.8125, this is y of 2, this is y of 3, here it is y of 4. So from this y of 5 onwards all the values are 0 0.625 this is called as limit cycle oscillations okay so for n is greater than or equal to 5 okay so for n is greater than or equal to 5 the output remains constant at 0 0.625 causing limit cycle oscillation actually y of 4 is equal to 0 0.625 this is the first time occurring in that sequence so we have to take this value as a normal value so the same value is repeated from 5. So we have to take that oscillation from n is greater than or equal to 5. Okay. Next we are going to find out the dead band for this system. Here the formula for this dead band is 1 by 2, 2 power minus b divided by 1 minus alpha. So here b is the number of bits used to represent the output value. Here we have considered that value as 4. Alpha is the filter coefficient that is 0 0.95. So we can substitute those values here. Then we can get that output as 1 by 2 multiplied with 2 power minus 4 can be written as 1 by 2 power 4. So 1 by 2 power 5 that is nothing but 1 by 32. Its value is 0 0.03125 here 1 minus 0 0.95 is 0 0.05. Then we can get the answer as 0 0.625. So this is the dead band arranged for the system.